And that snow keeps piling up in the Sierra, but the latest round starting to arrive this afternoon. Good evening, I'm Ryan Yamamoto. And I'm Elizabeth Cook. The UC Berkeley Sierra Snow Lab reporting another foot and a half of snow in just 24 hours. I spoke the, to the director of the Snow Lab, Andrew Schwartz, about what this all means. Andrew, we just saw that last week's snowpack survey levels are near record high, and that was before there's recent storms. Where do we stand now? How crazy is it up there? Well, there is definitely plenty of snow, and we are now sitting at the third snowiest year since 1991. So things are looking really, really good. Uh, we have surpassed 2016 and 2017 in terms of overall snowfall. With that being said, those years actually had a little bit more moisture in their snow. So we're still catching up with them in that regard. Now, how is this all helping with our drought? Is it all good? Is it, is it really going to impact the levels there? Or is this too much of a good thing right now? Well, our short-term drought is dramatically reducing with each passing week, and that's fantastic. Uh, we are definitely starting to impact our long-term drought a little bit. Of course, our water issues in the West are far too complex for just one year to solve them, but this is definitely helping. The only thing that could be a little bit concerning is we are seeing the potential for a warm atmospheric river later this week. Mm -hmm. And if we do have that happen with a deep snowpack, there is the potential for flooding. Yeah, speaking of flooding, with as it starts to warm up and we get closer to spring and summer, is your area prepared to deal with all this snow melt? I mean, it's going to be massive. It's absolutely going to be massive. And uh, I think... You know, a lot of the people that have been living in the area in the past are, are probably somewhat prepared. But that being said, uh, if we do get these warm atmospheric river events and, and we get warmer than average temperatures, uh, it might not matter how prepared you are. Uh, it could be some pretty, pretty significant flooding. Uh, so real reality is just that we need to keep an eye on the forecast and pay pay heed to any watches and warnings that the National Weather Service is issuing. Can you clarify a little bit about what we mean when we say it's the biggest snow year on record? There's some discrepancy on, on different years. What do you mean when you say the biggest snow year on record? Well, this year is actually our third biggest going back to 1991. Overall, for the snow uh, for the snow lab, our biggest year was in 51-52 when we got just under 68 feet of snow. So although we're getting up there, we're still about 20 feet away from that, that record for sure. Um, but we are definitely in the midst of a very good winter. 